What's up everyone, I'm Gushi and in this video we're going to be going over how to take down the spawn of Ogdo in Jedi Survivor. This mini boss is completely optional but has given me the most trouble so far compared to any other boss. So hopefully these tips and tricks help. As a reward you also get this poncho if you really want to collect all the cosmetics. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the spawn has three different phases where each phase its attack differs. First phase it's going to throw out these biting attacks which can come out in one or two hits. I highly recommend trying to parry this or at the very least blocking it so you can stay in range and do some damage after those two hits to get some damage in. If you look at its head you can tell if it's a one or two hit combo. The most important thing to keep in mind with this attack is that the second hit comes out faster so I always just buffer a second parry just in case it attacks twice. Now I highly recommend using the dual wield stance because you can animation cancel any attack by pressing L1. The reason why this is so useful is because after you cancel it, you can dodge immediately. Using the animation cancel is faster than waiting for your attack animation to finish and then dodging. And so with this technique, you can get two attacks in instead of one after the spawn does its normal attacks. Along with this attack, there's three red attacks that you have to dodge, but in different ways. One is this jumping one, where you can easily just jump away. It is an AoE attack, so you can't quick step it, you can not dodge out of range, but jumping lets you get in closer and do a falling air attack. Second is this charge attack which has crazy tracking and range and the only way you can avoid it is if you jump to the side and time the peak of your jump when it lunges. After that just do a falling air attack to get some hits in. However the third red attack is the one that's going to give you the most problems as it does come out the fastest and this is its bite attack that you can easily dodge but it's usually chained right after its normal bite attacks so again make sure you're using that animation cancel with the dual sabers so you can easily dodge this attack. Okay, so once the spawn gets to two thirds health, it'll enter its second phase where it will do this tongue attack. The best way to avoid this is again to jump to the side. I've tried force pulling, pushing, cutting the tongue. If you get anywhere even close to the tongue while it's extended, it's a one shot game over. Again, make sure you jump to the side and I like to throw out my lightsaber just to do a little damage while I'm out of range. So out of the four current red attacks, three of them you could jump out of the way. The fourth being the bite which comes out really quick which you have to dodge. Now in this phase, the spawn also throws out another normal attack which spews poison or lava on the ground. But you really want to look out for this because this is the opportunity to get a lot of damage in. So easily sidestep and go to town. Finally, when it gets to one thirds health, it starts using one more red attack. This attack has him lunging into the air and to your location. This is another AoE attack so you have to jump over it. So four out of the five red attacks you can jump just to keep that in mind. Now in this phase this is where his normal biting attack changes. Now it could do one, two, or four chains of bites. And what I learned is that in this phase I play a little bit more defensively. Not going for attacks after he does his bite chain. As it's really hard to predict if it's one, two, or four. So just wait for the other normal attack where he throws up on the ground and that will be your main time to get some damage in. Keep in mind that the spawn can chain two red attacks one after the other. I failed a couple of times because of this so just something to keep out for. And with that you should be able to defeat him. Now I have heard that you can cheese this boss if you get some of these enemies to drop into the pit while you safely remain on the top. I haven't tried it myself but maybe if you guys are having a hard time you can try this out. With that I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did please drop a like and consider subscribing. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one and GG.